Welcome back to the Bars of Chains podcast. Before we get into the latest installment of Rob's vlogs, we would like to take a second out to thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys have given to our YouTube channel and to all of our listening platforms. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe before you end this video, and be sure to check out all the rest of our enjoyable content. Thank you guys so much, and enjoy the show. Man, you probably saw this Luca game winner, and my roommate was at the game sitting right here before it happened. Man, I can't wait to show y'all what's about to pop off. So I've been gone, man. I've been sick, but uh, I, let me tell you what's been going on since I left y'all. Uh, I went trick-or-treating on Halloween. I dressed up as Bugs Bunny Space Jam. You see it right here. I'm 42 years old, trick-or-treating, but it was it was all good. I got a bunch of candy. I saw the Colin Kaepernick special on Netflix, and I was surprised to see how basketball really influenced Colin Kaepernick. He got braids like Allen Iverson. Of course, I can relate to that being old school, but what got me was the man was looking for a football scholarship, and he essentially got the scholarship while he was playing basketball. He threw like a touchdown pass for a layup in a basketball game, and that's what led to him being a quarterback in the NCAA in college. That's crazy. Um, and then I love shoes. I got some new shoes, y'all. I'm 5'9", uh, about 180 pounds, and I'm real close to Duncan, 42 years old. Dude. So I went and got some Candace Parker shoes. That's right, Candace Parker, WNBA. I'm tired of us just only representing the men. Like, we got to represent the women, too. Candace Parker has a, a championship for Chicago, her hometown. So I went ahead and bought the shoes. Also, Patrick Beverly wears these shoes. People say I play like Patrick Beverly because I'm crazy on the floor, ready to fight. I'm not ready to fight, but everybody thinks I'm ready to fight. That type of guy. Anyways, let's get back to this game winner by Luca. We're going to break this thing down. So we got Luca slowly bringing it up. You see that Lexus in the back? I always wish I had a Lexus. When I was a rapper, I always used to rap rhyme Lexus with Texas. All right, dude's defense is decent. This is a terrible shot. Like, he's fading. Did you see Marcus Smart? Man, I might have to rewind this. Hold up. Okay, so actually, this is great defense. I mean, he's staying solid. He's not fouling. His body's right there. Luka just bodies him, but watch Marcus Smart coming up from the right side of your screen. Why is your hand not up? You came over to help. Put your hand up. I mean, you're supposed to contest that, dog. Either way, it was a great shot. All nets. That's why it gets paid the big bucks. But watch the celebration. Did you see Chris Stapp Porzingis? I heard their relationship is too horrible, him and uh, uh, Luca. Watch on the left side of your screen. You'll see him with his white jersey on. Porzingis ain't messing with him. That's a fake clap. That's a clap because 20,000 people are clapping. They don't get along. But like I said, my roommate was at the game. That's him right there on the left, kicking it. And let me give you some insight that he told me. He said Luca be talking crazy to everybody, cussing people out, F-bombing left and right, and him and Porzingis don't get along, man. And ultimately, that's why I don't see them winning the championship. They're going to have to trade Porzingis. I mean, you're not going to trade Luka because all the money's this box office, you know, all the money's invested in Luka, but uh, unless Luka changes his attitude from my sources, I ain't messing with him. You know, it's not a popular opinion, but hey, I said it. And I'm also saying you need to check out the Bars to Chains podcast on Spotify, YouTube, and Instagram. And you also need to check out more content from me at Biblical Basketball on YouTube and Instagram as well. Biblical Basketball. See you.